hey guys welcome back to another build video i hope you guys are doing great in this video i'm going to show you my favorite arc build for titans especially for end game activities like grandmaster nightfalls so let's straight get into it for a super we are using thunder crash abilities we are using thruster as our class ability jump as per your choice thunderclap as our melee and storm grenade this build revolves around storm grenade for aspects we are using touch of thunder and knockout Fragments, we are using Spark of Shock, Spark of Feedback, Spark of Magnitude, and Spark of Ions. Coming to the Exotic, we are using Exotic Chest Piece, which is Heart of Inmost Light, and its Exotic Perk reads, using an ability, Grenade, Melee, or Barricade, empowers the other two abilities. Empowered means abilities have faster regen, melees and grenades do more damage, and barricades have more hit points. Coming to the other mods, we are using Bountiful Wells in our chest piece and Thermoshock Plating plus Concussive Dampener. For our helmet, we are using Ashes to Assets plus Explosive Well Maker. In our gauntlets, we are using Grenade Kickstart and Elemental Ordinance. You can slot in one champion mod as per the Grandmaster Nightfall. Coming to the boots, we are using Seeking Wells plus Invigoration and Absolution. In our class item, we are using Well of Life and Distribution along with Surge Detonators. I would recommend getting 100 Discipline and 100 Resilience. If not, I, I would recommend getting 90 plus at least. Coming to the build synergy guys, this build revolves around Storm Grenade and it's one of the easiest build to use. Throw Grenade. Use your Thunderclap melee, then use your Thruster, which is a class ability. Doing so will grant you Empowered buff for all three abilities, which is basically a recharge rate. And you will get that buff X2, which also means that you will have those abilities back in no time. So from there, it's just a rinse and repeat process. Keep using your grenade, keep using your melee, keep using your uh, class ability, and they will keep on recharging on a much faster rate you can see in the background footage as well we've got empowered barricade melee and grenade so this is the empowered buff that i'm talking about you are gonna get it only when you keep on using your abilities one after another coming to the aspects guys as shown earlier we are using touch of thunder aspect which enhances the functionality of a storm grenade which means it makes it more effective along with this we are using spark of shock fragment which jolts enemies and we are using Spark of Magnitude Fragment as well, which increases the lingering duration. So this combo makes our Storm Grenade super good and deadly at the same time. Coming to the abilities, uh, we are using Thruster instead of Barricade because we have to literally consume this one whenever it's available for us to keep that empowered buff active. And same goes for Thunderclap Melee too. You can use Rally Barricade or a Towering Barricade, but my suggestion would be to use Thurster as it's safe. Plus, uh, it helps us in escaping certain tough situation and it feels good. It looks nice. Plus, uh, it has a lesser cooldown cool down time or two. Coming to the melee guys, uh, some of you might have this question, why are we using Thunderclap? But I can definitely say that it is our best bet because just like Thruster, as I said earlier, we have to consume our melee whenever it is available for us to keep that empowered buff active. Even if you don't hit an enemy, it is fine. Just use it whenever it's available for you. And uh, looking at the activity that we are aiming here, it's Grandmaster Nightfalls. So I would uh, definitely recommend and suggest Suggest that you use uh, that you go for thunderclap rather than going for seismic, seismic strike or ballistic slam because uh, thunderclap is much safer bet and as I said it's our best bet. Coming to the weapons guys, uh, you can use whatever weapons you want to or as per the Grandmaster Nightfall requirement but my recommendation would be to use at least one solar weapon to make some easy solar wells and upon picking those wells we will get our abilities much faster because we are using well of life mod in our class item this build isn't dependent on any of the artifact mods so you guys can save this for future seasons too and i hope you like this build i hope you enjoy this build so guys, let me know your thoughts about the build or if you have any suggestions in the comments section and I'll be glad to talk to you all. Please show your support by liking the video and subscribing to my channel as it helps me a lot. Thanks for watching this one. I will see you guys in the next one.